One of the big themes of this convention is party unity. But today there was drama on the convention floor right from the get go. Anti-Trump delegates tried to get party rules changed. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch begins our team coverage from inside Quicken Loans Arena. We want Trump! We want Trump! We want Trump! What was supposed to be a grand old party for the grand old party hit a bit of a bump. Mr. Chairman. A last ditch effort by dump Trump forces to give delegates the right to vote their consciences, not necessarily the way their state primaries or caucuses went, failed. Not enough support. But that's not all. Earlier this morning on the MSNBC talk show Morning Joe, the chair of the Trump campaign, Paul Manafort, said that Ohio Governor John Kasich is embarrassing the state by not getting on board the Trump bandwagon. That did not go over well at all with Ohio GOP Chair Matt Borges. Not at all. Anyone who thinks that a governor with a 60% approval rating who got who carried 86 of 88 Ohio counties in 2014, who has created 400,000 jobs in this state, is an embarrassment, doesn't know what they're talking about. So where does that leave Ohio vis-a-vis -vis Donald Trump in November? We'll see. You sound underwhelmed with your prospective nominee. Right now, I think the campaign has obviously made a major mistake, and they need to fix it. But when the dust had cleared, other delegates said it's time to move forward with the choice of the party's primaries and caucuses. Those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye! So now the party of Honest Abe is the party of the Donald. In Cleveland, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News.